one, two, three, four, till twenty, two thousand twenty-one are written on a blackboard. Some two numbers are selected randomly and replaced with a different between the two numbers. If you selected fifty-two and thirty, we would erase both and write down twenty-two instead. So one, two, three, four, five, two thousand twenty-one. We erase some two numbers randomly, and right? and then the last remaining number. What could this be? We take some two numbers and replace it with a difference. Now my answer choices are one, two, four, eight. Small numbers. So I want to eliminate all the large numbers. What will I do? I'll say from two thousand twenty-one, take two thousand twenty-one and two thousand twenty, subtract this, write down the difference. Two thousand nineteen and eighteen, subtract. Write down the difference. Two thousand twenty-one minus two thousand twenty is one. Nineteen minus eighteen is one. Seventeen minus sixteen is one. Fifteen minus fourteen is one. All of these are one. Two thousand twenty-one and two thousand twenty. I'm replacing it with one. All the way till three minus two. I'll do pairing it up. Every pair gives me a one. Finally, I'll have this one remaining, and I'll have how many pairs are there? 2020 numbers I'm pairing up. 2020 by 2, 1010 ones will be there. Nice. So I have 1011 ones with me. Now I'm do the same process. What do I do? I take all these ones, pair them up. I'll get zeros. I have this one. I'll retain. I'll have zeros. Five zero five times. 1010 by 2. Five zero five zeros I have. So all of these are zeros. I subtract, take any pair, and I'll get a zero. I'll finally subtract everything. Keep on eliminating. I'll get one zero. One minus zero is one. My answer could be one. I can get a one. The question here says I keep replacing. Which of the following could be the last remaining number? Could be. I'm not saying will be. Which of the following could be the last remaining number? It could be one. This is a way of saying it could be one. I'm trying to find one number. It could be one. Now I'm going to establish this, and so I have one, two, three, four, two thousand twenty-one. Out of these, I'm selecting two numbers. And there are three ways of selecting this. I could select both numbers to be even, both numbers to be odd, one even and one odd. Nice. Both numbers could be even. Both numbers could be odd. There could be one or even number, one odd number. Right? If both are even, the difference between these two is even. If both are odd, difference between the two is even. There's one even and one odd. The difference is odd. So I'm taking these out and replacing it with an even number. Taking these two out, replacing it with an even number. Taking these two out, replacing with an odd number. I'm only thinking about even numbers and odd numbers. I'm not thinking about the magnitude at all. Right? Now, what happens to the total number of numbers here? I take out two even numbers and replace with an even number, or whatever total numbers I have. I'll be when I do this process once, I'll subtract minus one even number. Or if I, this happens, I subtract two odd numbers. And add one even number. If this happens, I take out an odd number. I put in an odd number. Odd number count does not change. I'll subtract one even number. So whatever number of numbers I have, I'll either subtract one even number, or I'll subtract two odd numbers and replace it with one even number. I'm taking away two odd numbers and adding one even number. The beauty here. Even numbers are appearing in every transaction. Right, and steps of one, odd number. Either the number of odd numbers does not change at all, no change, or it drops by two. Right, either the number of odd numbers reduces by two, or it stays as it is. In two thousand twenty-one, that's an odd number. Two thousand twenty by two is one zero one zero. So in two thousand twenty-one. Will be one zero one one odd numbers and one zero one zero even numbers. Whatever we do, we'll either reduce the number of odd numbers by two or keep it as it is. 
So from this 1, 0, 1, 1 odd numbers, I'll keep on dropping 2, 2 odd numbers. Or I'll do nothing to it. Think about it. You can never really eliminate all these odd numbers. You cannot. An odd number of odd numbers. You're either eliminating 2 or nothing. It goes down in steps of 2 or steps of 0. It can never go to 0. Or my last number has to be an odd number. In the end, how many ever, whatever sequence I do it in, my last number has to be an odd number. If you look at the choices, I have 1, 2, 4, 8. Even number, even number, even number. Only one odd number. My last number has to be an odd number. That is the one I'm looking for. 